Greetings and warm welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Clifton 3D. Much has unfolded in the span of time since our last interaction, and I'm excited to dive into a topic that, although not quite breaking news, remains both significant and intriguing. While a number of videos have already delved into this topic, this subject, I felt compelled to share my perspective on the matter of Snow White. Let's dive right into the content of this video. upon a time but now that time is gone so i have thoughts i do have many thoughts about this teaser about the move from the Daily Wire, and everything connecting it. So let us start with the teaser, and that's exactly what it is. It is a teaser. We can't actually know for sure if this was just hastily pasted promotion material, or if it's actually a clip from the movie that they are making. Now that being said, I would like to believe that this is indeed only promotion material, stock footage, and an awkward smile. At a whole, based on what we saw, I don't think it looks great. Now, is it horrible? Definitely not. That being said, it does have beautiful cinematography, but I think some scenes were overacted, like with the hand gesture holding the apple and the even more so drawn out smile at the end. Just ooh, if they would have just cut it just a little bit shorter, I think that would have been better. As it stands, this reminds me of a cheaply produced early to mid 90s show introducing their character. Now, I've seen a lot of people complaining about the Daily Wire and their them using their host for their films. And because of this, believe that the film will come off as cheap because they went the cheaper route by night not hiring an actress. Well, I have to tell you, Brett Cooper, before coming to the Daily Wire to become a host, a political host, she was an actress. She's known for a role in Heathers and in the 2012 Parental Guidance. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't know these shows. I don't know if they're any good. I don't know if she's good in it. But what I do know is that she did go to acting school. She is an actor. So I don't really see any big issues in casting her. I mean, compare her to Rachel Ziegler and what Disney is doing. Oh, yes, it looks much more like Snow White. Beautiful woman. I can't, you know, I can't deny that. I'm not going to deny that. Although perhaps if they are going back to the original source material, from the Brothers Grimm. Fred Cooper might just be a smidge too old. And as far as teasers go, there's not really much more that I can say to it. So on to Bent Key and the Daily Wire choosing Snow White. And for that, we are going to be reading an article from Bounding Into Comics from Spencer Bakuli. So definitely go credit him for this article. The Daily Wire steps into the ring against Disney, announces Snow White and the Evil Queen live action film starring YouTuber Brett Cooper or, uh, you know, we know now, an actress. In putting their money where their mouth is when it comes to the ongoing culture war, the Daily Wire has officially thrown down the challenge glove. 
to Disney and announced Snow White and the Evil Queen their own live action, more source material accurate adaptation of the classic fairy tale. That's why I did say she might be a smidge too old. This new project was first unveiled by the Daily Wire's co-CEO Jeremy Boring, who is currently taking a leave of absence from his position to direct the company's upcoming The Pendragon Cycle fantasy television series, which I'm kind of looking forward to. I, I don't know the books. I, I'm going to be checking out the book. But it does sound interesting in Pendragon. You know, I love everything King Arthur. On October the 16th, otherwise known as the 100th anniversary of Disney's existence, speaking in a pre recorded message set from the set of the for aforementioned series, Boring began by announcing that in direct response to Disney's continuing attempt to distance themselves from conservative values, the company would launch would be launching Bent Key, their own kids entertainment production arm, which it has come out. They have like over a hundred episodes or something already on it. I haven't checked it out, but it definitely looks cool. We might do a video about it, but right now it's not in the keys. It's been just a little over one year since Disney, the most powerful entertainment company in the world, got caught saying their, the quiet part out loud, said Boring, namely that they were using their brand, a brand parents had been trusting with their children's generation for generations to indoctrinate those children into the LGBTQAI cult, whatever it's called, I don't care. Referencing previously leaked footage from March 2022, in which Disney's television animation producer Latoya Reven, I can't pronounce that, can be seen speaking to her ideological content aims. This, the co CEO continued in a leaked video. One of Disney's executive producers said she's implementing a quote, not at all secret gay agenda, and is regularly adding queerness to her kid shows. Definitely go check it out. I don't care about it. And it's not just the queerness Disney's promoting, he added. In the show Proud Family, Louder and Prouder, Disney stirs racial division with songs like Slaves Built This Country, where kids rap about descendants of slaves earning rep reparations for every minute they spent submerged in systemic prejudices, racism, and white supremacy. Walt Disney loved America. The company he founded thinks America is systematically racist. Turning his attentions away from the House of Mouse actual products, Boring further explains of the reasons behind his new children's endeavor. Beyond just their content, Disney has a corporation Push it as a corporation pushes all the worst excesses of the woke left paying for its employees to travel for abortions, promoting anti-racism, indoctrination of its employees and going to war on behalf of radical left wing social pol policy in Florida. It would be impossible to overstate just how big a loss this is for Americans who believe in basic reality. Disney controls the great content library ever existed. The greatest. Their cultural reach practically, practically with children is beyond anything that's ever existed. Sad but true. To this end, Boeing, Boeing concluded his reveal of Bent Key's operation by taking a moment to announce today that company's first live action feature film. It's a story about a princess and a prince, about beauty and vanity, about love and its power to raise us from the death to life. Told viewers, it's our own adaptation of an ancient fairy tale. It's coming in 2024, and it's called 
At this moment, Boeing was thematically interrupted by a hard cut to the first teaser trailer for Snow White and the Evil Queen. Personally, I love that they are directly going after Disney. It is not just brilliant that they are attacking Disney. I think it's great publicity for their own movie and people will compare the two to each other. Normally, I wouldn't think it would be great practice to compare a juggernaut like Disney to a newly found film studio. I don't think the Daily Wire will be able to reach the a comparable production value. That being said, if the story and characters are portrayed great, are they are nailed and they resonate with children and grown-ups alike, I believe that this movie could be a huge success riding off of the coattails of Disney's Snow White. And to be perfectly honest, I am not sure what to think. I, I know that the Daily Wire isn't going to sink the same amount of money as Disney will, and the recent track record of Disney movies is that they don't make any money. The Daily Wire could succeed here, could make, money but we're not talking about the same huge amounts of unspeakable money flowing back and forth that being said hashtag duck fizney and i wish the daily wire the best in their filming endeavors please let me know down in the comments below what you think of this filming endeavor of the snow white movie what do you think about them trying to adopt a more source material driven Snow White than what Disney has given us. Now, remember, even the Disney original animated movie differed quite a bit from the source material. So let me know what you think down below. I would enjoy knowing your thoughts on it. And hey, you know, back to making videos and everything like that. So please, please help out the channel. Smash that like button below, you know, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications if you do, because that is the only way for you to actually know that I'm putting out content again, because, you know, YouTube sucks. That being said, I have a few things that I would like to say here at the end of the video. I would like to say that I am glad for everyone who is sticking by me and will continue to watch my videos. So thank you for doing that. I know I've been a miss for quite a while and I've been struggling. You all probably seen the video. And if you haven't the update video, you know, don't worry about it. It's no problem. I'm making videos again. I'm having fun. This was a great experience and I hope you did like this video. That being said, I do plan on doing more videos over here and over on the Enigmatic Universe. YouTube page. And in addition to that, I am playing more games or hopefully I will be able to get to playing more games tonight. Actually, right when this video came out, I started streaming Pokemon, the yellow version for the Game Boy. So Retro Gaming Wednesdays is going to be a thing. I'm going to be playing this as a series, basically the Pokemon game. I don't worry, I won't be playing it nonstop uh, for until I finish it. I won't I won't be grinding levels on stream all the time. Now there will be some level grinding, that's for sure. We're just gonna take that time, talk to each other, talk about the channel, talk about everything going on, anything. If you come in the chat, we can talk about movies, we can talk about shows, we can talk about history, we can do any of that so hey come and stop by i would really enjoy seeing you and so if you're watching this video right now and you're not over on the live stream come on over come on over all right and uh before i leave one more thing from now on after a live stream i will be privating that live stream don't worry, it, the live stream will still be in a playlist that you can find, so you can still watch it back, but I won't be losing out on 
view time. So YouTube won't think that, okay, nobody likes this guy's content. We're going to pull him. So it's going to be the videos that you see first and foremost and live streams in the playlists on, you know, privated so that you can still see them. All right. That's it for, t that's it for Ted today, right? <laughs> or now, I guess. Until next time, take care.